Shalom, welcome to Celebration Pulse. Uh, in conversation, we are excited to be talking about the profiles in triumph. The whole idea is that the Bible says that uh, thanks be to God who always causes us or leads us in triumph through Christ Jesus. And he causes us to be a fragrance that spreads the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. So wherever we are as believers, we are profiles of triumph. You don't have to be a celebrity, you don't have to be somebody unique. As long as you are a child of God, you are more than an overcomer, you are more than a conqueror. You are a profile in triumph. And today I'm very privileged to be, um, to be accompanied on the set uh, by my wife. And we are going to have some conversations here. We, we don't know where we are going, we're just talking. <laughs> We are just talking. Yeah, so we will kick off from anywhere, but before we do, let's just uh, pray. Father, we thank you as we communicate, as we um, yield ourselves in this conversation. May you make us vessels and vehicles to bless your people, to minister to your people. Uh, we thank you for your glory. We thank you for your honor. Uh, we thank you, Father, that uh, lives will be changed, lives will be transformed. Use this conversation, if you will. Father, to glorify your name and to help your people. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 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 So, ladies and gentlemen, I am privileged in this Women's Month to be talking to this beautiful lady. Welcome, Odd. Thank you so much. So, welcome, Pastor Odd. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure talking to you. It is indeed. Yeah. You know, um, I'm just so excited that even as we celebrate Women's Month, it's a time of reflection when I'm also looking at my life and seeing where mm -hmm. God has brought me from and uh, up to where I am today. Mm -hmm. I can honestly say it can only be the grace of God mm -hmm. to be here. And it's exciting to be living in these times because every day that you live, you see indeed God has just favored you with the gift of life. And for that I'm forever and eternally grateful. So, you know, I was just thinking of um, your, your mother, mm -hmm. uh, being Women's Month. I, I know that she took so many people uh, through school, you and your... Uh, when your uncle, your brother passed on, you had a whole lot of family. As much as I have known you uh, or been around here, it's like the whole village is, stays in your house. That's so true. You know, <laughs> it's growing up, I, it's only now, later in years, that I realized mm. that we were such a big family. Mm. But growing up, we just thought mm. that was normal, mm. you know. Because uh, mommy took in a lot of people, that's mm -hmm. very true. And one thing that I remember is um, it should be in the 70s mm -hmm. when it was during the war right. in Zimbabwe. And so you know that being a, a youth, as a, especially if you were a, a guy, mm -hmm. they will take you, you know, they will force you to go. Yeah, people jail. were forcibly taken over yes. and taken to the war. Yes, yeah. and I remember from the village. Uh, the young men came to our house and they just stayed there because they to, were to, to put co context. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. they were living in Mashingo in town. Mm -hmm. So when he says young men came from the village, they're saying because they were running away from the war where people are being recruited. So if they came and stayed in town, then they will they will be safe uh, mm -hmm. from those uh, forceful recruitments. Mm -hmm. So that's what she means by from the village. And uh, just being single mm -hmm. and trying to manage the family affairs and making sure that everybody had food on the table, mm -hmm. I saw my mother stretch herself mm -hmm. in a way, in one way than uh, more ways than one. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that my mother did, which I still remember, mm -hmm. is that um, she started um, a chicken rearing business. Okay. So we did that for us to be able to. Uh, to, feed, uh, to feed the family mm -hmm. and secondly one other thing that she did she was a teacher mm -hmm. and where she got that 
up to mm. now I don't know but she was born uh, in royalty so mm. probably it, it runs in the blood mm -hmm. so one of the things that my mother did was to get a uh, cool drinks mm -hmm. and a cooler box yeah. so she would um, uh, have the drinks in the fridge overnight mm -hmm. and then in the morning I carry them on my back mm -hmm. so every day in the morning I would take uh, drinks to school and mm -hmm. we will be selling them to the teachers to the staff members and wow. that's how my mother managed and I remember one time mm -hmm. her eldest sister came in and she found my mother just uh, running all over just to make sure that the, the family had things on the table, food right. on the table. Mm -hmm. And she even initiated um, a vegetable store. Mm -hmm. uh, so we were also selling... Uh, the, 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 the village market kind of, yes, in, in the city? In the city, yes. Mm -hmm. So we're selling uh, fruits and vegetables. So we can, I can safely say there was never a day mm -hmm. in our house where we would scrounge for food. Mm -hmm. Food was always there. We had more than enough. And I there mean, was enough for all these people who were coming for in? For all the people. I mean, for all the people. And one mm -hmm. of the things that my mother has always taught me, mm -hmm. you, you can't, um, how do we put it? You know, you give people food. You yeah. can't uh, withhold. Have, withhold from mm -hmm. feeding people. She says the best thing that you can ever do mm -hmm. is to bless somebody uh, by feeding them. Don't ever hide food in your house. So you, your, your mother was really generous. She was. And she, she, she gathered people around her. She had an open door policy. I have seen part of that in you. I have seen <laughs> you just gather people. I mean, I have seen uh, my wife uh, uh, at a moment's notice. A family may be visiting. They arrive. Sometimes yeah, we do invite people in our home. and We, we have lots of people uh, in the home most of the time. But there are times when people just drop by and I've seen you whip up a meal, a, a five-course meal in 15, 30 minutes. And you say, what? How, where did this all, all this food come from? And now I'm beginning to see it came from your mother. And I think it's just through, yes, mm -hmm. the training. Mm -hmm. We were trained to uh, just to be hospitable. Mm -hmm. You know, my mother was, was and is still hospitable. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what time you get to our, to our house midnight, early morning, late at night. By our house, you mean her house? Her house, oh, okay. yes. Growing up, it mm -hmm. meant mm -hmm. you would feed. But she has a story to tell. Oh, okay, she, let's hear the story. <laughs> yes. When she was a young girl, um, I don't know where the elders had gone. Her parents and everybody else left her and her sister. Mm -hmm. So when, um, then as they were there by themselves, they had enough food for themselves. Mm -hmm. So... There's a man who just came to the house and asked for a drink of water. So, so he, was, he was a passerby? He was passerby. He stopped by, he, stopped he looked by. like he was coming a long distance. He stopped by and asked for water. Mm. Yes, he asked for water. Mm. So my mom said, because she had been trained by her own mother. You never say no to a guest. You never say no to a guest. So she even extended mm. and said, what do you want something to eat? Yeah. So the guy said, oh, Thank you so much. We are so hungry. We had gone to pay a lobola, a mm -hmm. bright price. And so it meant uh, they were very hungry. Then she said, you know... But it's, you said it was one man. It was man, one man. Mm -hmm. Then he said, you know what, let me go and get my other, uh, my team members. Oh know, my then, goodness. Yeah. So my mother said, that's okay. So mm -hmm. the guy left and I think she talks about four to six men uh, that ended up at the house. Mm -hmm. uh, they had to make do with what they had mm -hmm. and also even to add extra. Mm -hmm. They had to do extra work for them to be able to remember in the village mm -hmm. you had to start from scratch. Mm -hmm. So if it was grain, you mm -hmm. needed maybe to pound it to... And they, these brothers were just waiting while... They were just waiting. Yeah. And she says, you know what, I learned a lot that day. But she said that story in appreciation of what her mother had taught her. Mm -hmm. So I think mm -hmm. I then just inherited. But that really blessed me to see mm -hmm. that uh, just a young girl mm -hmm. could go all that ex to that extent just to extend hospitality. And, and you know, the, the Bible does say that... Um, do not forget to entertain strangers. Mm -hmm. For or do not forget to be hospitable. Mm -hmm. For some have entertained angels by entertaining strangers. Mm -hmm. So the Bible teaches hospitality and it teaches uh, being good, doing good. I think we, we learned recently about 
um, our people should be zealous to do good works. They should have an attitude to do good. Mm -hmm. And but while you are doing that, you, 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 your mother is doing that. You know, I also have a story to tell about my my, my dad. You know, I, I know your your mom took through a lot of people through school. We helped people from the village, and and, and I remember I think even uh, when we got married that uh, a lot of the people within the extended family would just stop by and they expect a meal. Even people who are working, they, some would not even, some would not bring much. They, they just expect because they know she will take care of the things. But, but, but I, I also see a similar pattern in, in, my, uh, in, in our family that uh, my dad uh, took people in, send them through school. Uh, I think a lot of my cousins were actually funded to go through school mm. by my dad. My dad was a teacher by that time. And then I remember one of the things that really uh, moves me was uh, we had uh, one guy who was coming in to, uh, to be a help at home, taking care, heading the kettle and so on. And this guy was very intelligent, but he had just gone up to, I think, grade three. You'd read almost anything around. And my dad says, you know, this guy is so uh, determined, mm. and I think life has been unfair to him. And he went to the uh, to the school, uh, the, 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 the school in the neighborhood, mm. and spoke to the headmaster and said, "You know, what? this guy helps me. He's my help. But I want him to do. I want him to study. I want to give him an opportunity. But my problem is that because I'm paying him, and I'm going to pay for his fees, if uh, he stays for extracurricular work." then it means he is not doing anything for me. Mm -hmm. So will you exempt him from uh, the sports, the extracurricular, the things, you know how in the rural schools yes. we would be in class in the morning and then the afternoon most of it, you were doing a lot of yes. extracurricular, yes. yeah, and so on. Yes. So then you come home. So he took this guy through school, this guy finished his grade seven, I think by the time he started school, he was actually, I think about 14, uh, 14, 15, and he went into uh, grade three, went through the process, finished, went to, um, to, to high school, finished, and he actually graduated as a, as a teacher. And right now, yeah, the last time I heard he was a headmaster somewhere. Wow. You know? yeah. but, but that investing in people uh, was a seed which was being sown. That's true. And, and, and I've seen you do the same, take care of people. And, and, I, and I remember, I, uh, uh, let me talk for about me for a change. Yeah, yeah please go Don't ahead. Don't talk about you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so straight, you know, the things that we inherit from our parents. Uh, you know, the Bible says that uh, we have seen the faith to Timothy, mm -hmm. the faith that was in your, uh, yeah. your grandmother, grandmother and in your mother, mm -hmm. and we have seen it in you. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some things that uh, seeds of doing good that you pick up from your parents. Similarly, we want to encourage parents to say, when you do good to people and your children are watching, you are actually encouraging and building them up. Mm -hmm. you know? So, so when, we st when I started uh, uh, school, I remember one time we had, uh, I was a student at the University of Zimbabwe and I, wa I was a military cadet. And uh, when I was in my second year, there was uh, a Christian lady who was uh, in her first year so the first year she fell, when I got into third year, she was in her second, she, to repeat her second, her first year. Mm -hmm. And in that repeat, she, you lost the, the government uh, the grant, grant. Mm -hmm. and she didn't have money. And I just uh, said, look, I'm going to, to fund you. I, I remember actually my pastor came and said, uh, mm -hmm. hey, what's your interest? Why are you doing this? Because I helped you get the, I funded the just the tuition, I said, look, I can just pay your fees, mm -hmm. but I can't take care of you. Mm -hmm. Then I, fortunately, I had some, some friends who were married, and, and I spoke to one of them and said, would you be able to house and accommodate this, uh, this lady? So she was given accommodation, and she went through, uh, through university. But the, here's the thing, my pastor came and said, oh, brother, taking care of this girl, what's your interest? Because in his mind, he was thinking, did I have interest in the girl? Then I said, but Pastor, you forget, I have, then we were already mm -hmm. uh, go, not going out, going in. <laughs> going in. in yeah, the so you were ready. <laughs> so, so, and, and yeah. so I said, no, 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 I, I, I am committed and my 
girlfriend is in the know and so but the, now when I reflect it only came because my father was doing it took care of uh, people uh, was doing good but it's part of a profile in trying to say when you do things for others mm -hmm. when you do good when you are other centric it's uh, you are not thinking about your return and you, you are doing this and uh, I mean the the lady is is made a friend and is is grateful and, and I remember we took care of my young brother as well and a lot of other people that that we helped along the way but the, the, the thing we're talking about here is to say what are you actually talking about we are just looking at our lives and um, just counting our blessings mm. as to, you know, we have sown seeds mm. which we never thought mm -hmm. would um, reap or see the harvest. Oh, yes, yes. yes. That, that's, that's, but God that's, has just been mm. um, faithful. Let me yes. just remind you, mm. I remember years back, mm. we, were, we went for a prayer meeting mm. and I remember this very well that um, Pastor Nikki started praying. Um, for University of Zimbabwe students. Mm -hmm. We had been kicked out of our um, res mm -hmm. uh, res uh, in the race mm -hmm. because of the, um, you know, there were so many demonstrations that yeah. were taking mm -hmm. place, uh, student uprise. Mm -hmm. So the government decided to close mm -hmm. um, the residence, uh, the residences, but mm -hmm. the lectures continued. Mm. So many students mm. couldn't find accommodation. Right. And I remember that's in Harare. That's in Harare. Yeah. And I remember the bed and I just couldn't imagine somebody coming from out of town and they're trying to find accommodation and they'll be open to abuse and all and kinds everything. Of and I remember I, I went to Pastor Nikki mm. and we discussed it and we said, you know what? I think we can take him three. Mm. We ended up with Two, two, I yeah. think. We mm. ended up with two. But a <laughs> little did I realize that was not the end. We we ended up just taking any uh, more students mm. that would come and stay with us mm. whilst we offer them uh, accommodation mm. just for them to be able to do their studies without any payments. Yeah. And, 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 and you, you, you know, we are talking about hospitality, being hospitable, being generous, doing good. And, you know, we... We saw it in our parents, we saw it in your mother, saw it in, in my dad, and we and, and I remember our, our, our home uh, during conferences, particularly whether it's action prayer conference, we would have so many people uh, in there, and sometimes people don't thought we were actually funded by the church to take care of people. Mm -hmm. uh, there are times when we would have, uh, one time I remember we had almost 25 to 30 people, and then we had people from Gwanda, we had uh, pastors from uh, abroad, and we were just taking care of them. And one day, I remember, I think one conference, we actually were completely dry financially. Mm -hmm. And we, we, but we just took care of people. We, and many people thought that we did it either because we were funded by the church, or we, we were too low then. Yeah, 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 you know. And, and, <laughs> but to do good and to help people, you don't have to, have to be rich, you don't have to have to have lots, but we took care of so many people. And we, and, and I look at that and I say, you know, in terms of thinking of profiles and triumph, you, some of the things you do, you do a second nature. Mm -hmm. You do because God inspires you. Mm -hmm. But in reality, you are doing all this. And I remember we talked about, we, there's a time when we took care of one of our pastors, uh, uh, daughters, we we funded the fees from. Actually, I committed when I was in my final year, mm -hmm. and we paid the fees, your, your fees from a crash all the way to form six. Mm -hmm. uh, took care of my, my young brother and so on. And, but it's these are opportunities to just be a blessing to to help people, to take care of people. Mm -hmm. and, but little did we know. Yeah, I think when when you are doing something like this many a times you never think about you um, getting a harvest like I indicated a reward, yeah. Yeah, a reward mm. after, out of that you are just doing it because you know this is the right thing to do yeah. and um, fast forward when God starts uh, blessing you mm. but along the way you could just see the hand of God like you were mm. saying uh, at one time we were at this conference and we were thinking do you tell people you know you can't come because 
honestly speaking, right now, financially, we are not in a position to be able to host. But having been trained also, remember, we, we have two families. We have our natural family mm. and also we have our spiritual family. Mm -hmm. And one of the families that really did also input mm. into us are mm. uh, our pastors. Yeah. Because even, I know there were times when they didn't even yeah. have, yeah. but they also had an open door policy. So usually you find that when you tell people, you, you know what, at times there's no need to make an appointment. Yeah. Just maybe pick up your phone mm. in case you think I'm out. Mm. But as long as you know that I'm at home, you are welcome to come. Yeah. People find it very difficult. Mm. But this is how we were raised. Yeah. To say, you know what, I have an open door policy, you can come at any time. So as I was saying, the natural and the spiritual yeah. family brought us in a way and raised up in a way that we became, we became hospitable and mm. we also made sure that uh, we, we have this love, genuine love, love for people, yeah. you know, whether, and it has nothing to do with do you have or, or you do don't you have. have. Yeah. No, 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 no. Mm. You love a person just because yeah. they are God's creation, yeah. period. Yeah. And one of the things that I was taught from a young age is mm. that the um the ground is level it's at the foot, foot of the cross, of the cross. Yeah. if you realize that mm -hmm. whatever you have in life mm -hmm. god has entrusted those resources yeah. to you mm -hmm. because they are there for you to hold mm -hmm. only by his grace yeah. so i should never say this is because of my hard work mm -hmm. or my intelligence right. or because i know how mm -hmm. to serve yet you you don't know no it mm. has nothing to yeah. do with that mm. god extends his hand just because he sees yes. your heart yes yeah. and, and i think i mean you, you just reminded me it, it, it's amazing you talked about these two families the the church family and the natural family mm. and, and, and uh, um, just reflecting back you, you know uh, when i was in my 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 one of the years i think it was my second year i didn't have accommodation Mm -hmm. And uh, a pastor took care of us. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, 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 they took care of us. They didn't even ask questions. My parents didn't even know where I was staying. I'm at university. I'm staying. And we, they, they just embraced us. And, 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 and I look back. I, we, we stayed in so many pastors' houses. That's and we just took care of us. And people just show up. And not to say, oh, when are you going back? I remember one of our pastors, we... I think we almost had three, four years. It's like it was the default home. Anytime we would go home. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about even taking care of people, we are not doing it because we are a kind of super size. It's we, we can't resist because it's paying for what somebody else invested in us. So and as we, we as we did that, when we were taking care of people and allowing people to come during conferences, people staying in our homes, people uh, coming and doing their education while they're in our homes. It's really because there are others who, who invested in us. That's so true. So, so that generational, uh, I mean, people talk about a generational inequity, but there's also a generational blessing. blessing. There's, and we, we focus on generational inequity and forget that you can have good that starts from my dad to me to my children. It goes on and you, you are sowing seeds. And it is important as believers. We're talking about prophets of tribe to say, you do that by being hospitable, by being good to people, by sowing seeds. Mm -hmm. And we were doing all this because others had been good to us. Yeah, nice. And we were, we were doing this. Mm -hmm. And we were not even thinking about the scripture that says, I think it's Proverbs chapter 11, I think 24. It says, he who waters others will himself be watered. Mm -hmm. He who refreshes others will themselves be refreshed. And little did we know that we're taking care of uh, uh, our pastor's child school fees. We took care of my young brother. We supported some of your siblings and all kinds of people. And along the way, even that sister that we talked about, we, we didn't realize that we would get to a point where, even though we were blessed, we were running our own business, there was a time when we took our children from a school that was um, about about $8,000 a US dollars a year and we we wanted to expose them to something and we felt that we should take them to another school and that school was charging almost 20,000 a year mm -hmm. and we were struggling with 8,000 8, and we felt God taking challenging us to get to 
to the 20,000 a year school. Mm -hmm. And I remember that interview that we had with the, the school counselor and she said, you know, this is a great school <laughs> if you have money. And that's not true. And we didn't tell them that we didn't have money. We, we acted like we had money, mm -hmm. you know. But, but here's the thing. God was faithful. Mm -hmm. So for almost, is it four or five years? Five, six. So we have two kids going into, I mean, three, two of the years, we had two kids in, in that school. Mm -hmm paying 20, around 20,000 per, per kid. Mm. And yet we were struggling with 6,000. Mm. But when, when I look back, I mean, there was no significant growth in our revenue. Mm -hmm. I actually can't explain how we, how we paid those fees. That's what we are saying to say, we look back and mm. we can only say it can mm. be God. Yeah. Because here and there, God will just open doors. Mm. If your business does well, you are able to pay. Mm. Or if you can't pay, you... God has entrusted you with something, an mm. asset or something, mm. then you are disposing it because you know mm. this is value. I'm mm. investing in the education of my children. Mm. And I think that was the best thing that, uh, one of the best things that we did for our children. Yeah, yeah, I remember I think one time we actually had to sell a truck to be able to pay, to pay the fees. Mm. But, but the, point, the point is this that God helped us through. Mm. I mean, our kids went on to go to, to, to university in Canada and we, we paid their fees there uh, from an economy that was dysfunctional, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And yet, God was faithful. And when I look back, I actually see that it's the seeds that were sown in our lives when we were taking care of others. But not just in our lives, even in our parents' lives, because mm -hmm. our parents were funding the fees for others. Mm -hmm. And they were sowing seeds. So our seeds don't go just into the, our generation and the next generation. They go to the generation after generation. Mm -hmm. you know? So, so the, the, when, we, when we talk about um, profiles of triumph, we're talking about things, practical things that you do okay. that can actually make a difference in your life, but in the lives of others. That's so so it's, it's, it's amazing how this is. You have done them and you don't even realize. You're not even thinking about Oh, oh, this is a, I'm, I'm sowing a seed. Because I think sometimes as believers, we, we are so seed conscious mm -hmm. that it's, it's like, uh, if I do this, what will I get out of it? But sometimes we can be good just for being good, you know? Mm -hmm. And when, when you are ministering to people, you are doing things like that, you, you are sowing a seed that you are not even aware when it will, when it will yield, but you are doing it to bless people. And then we look back and say, oh, God has been good. But it's not only fees that God helped us with. Yes, I think God is a way of just being too good. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just so humbled. Mm -hmm. And I, I can track back. I remember when Emmanuel was about to leave for university. Right. I accompanied him. So mm -hmm. I had already made a reservation to go and stay in a hotel. I had mm -hmm. taken 10 days mm -hmm. to be with him. So for him to be able to settle down. Mm. Um, I remember just about a week before departure, mm. I remember his um, uh, history teacher right. then came to me and said, oh, where will you be staying? And I said, oh, I'll be staying in a hotel. He says, no, 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 there's no need. Mm. That was a beginning of a greater miracle. And because, because that history teacher actually came from the same city where, came the, the, where city. the university where Emmanuel was going. Yes. Then he says, oh, no, don't worry. And within a day or two, he had organized accommodation for Emmanuel and myself to be staying with a family. Wow. You know, and you get to Canada. I'd never been to Canada. Emmanuel had never been into Canada. Mm -hmm. We get to Canada, but we already have somebody waiting for us yeah. to, to take us home. Wow. Yeah. And, and again, the, 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 these are profiles in triumph, mm -hmm. not because of what we've done, just like mm -hmm. you said, it's the grace of God. Okay. I mean, we didn't intentionally say we're going to do this. It was ingrained in us from our parents. Mm -hmm. We saw it in our parents. We just laid it out. And in doing that, God is sowing seeds. And talking of the children going to, to, to university, you know, it, it, it's amazing how um, you, you went in, they plugged in into a church, mm -hmm. and Emmanuel was, a, it was kind of, he had a second uh, a second family. And let me start it and then I'll, 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 I'll leave it to you, for you to, to kick it off. And you, you know, we, we are intentional in terms of our children. So as they were going to university, we said, Lord, we are going to, we researched about the city when Emmanuel was going. We, and I came back and I said, Emmanuel, I have found these five churches. I looked at their Facebook pages 
their websites, their YouTube uh, channels, and we said we didn't want to leave the destiny of our children to chance. Yeah. So we so we looked at the and then I said there are five potential churches. Can you look at them and then see whether they will be good enough for you, whether you will love them? Mm -hmm. And uh, and he streamed them down to and said pick three. Mm -hmm. So when you go with mom, mom is going to stay with you for at least uh, two, two, weeks. two weeks, but three Sundays. Mm -hmm. And you are going to have to do the round to see which church you are going to, to settle in. And I want here to introduce you to the pastors. So he then says, no, I've settled down on this too. Mm -hmm. And you want to take it up from there. Yeah, so when, when we got to Canada, uh, the first Sunday we went to church, uh, our host uh, took us to church. They were not going to that particular church. Mm -hmm. So they said, no, we know where it is. So they dropped us. So it's one of the two churches that he One of the two churches. We got in. Mm -hmm. And I remember as we were in, I just felt at home myself. I mm -hmm. said, oh, this is a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. But anyway, since we have another church, we still have to mm -hmm. uh, go and check it out. But uh, lo and behold, after the service, uh, we went and we met the pastor. We introduced ourselves. And... Um, they were just so nice. Um, pastor Ralph was very nice to us. I told him we are pastors and we are leaving our son into his hands. And uh, Pastor Kelly wasn't in, mm -hmm. the, who was the senior pastor. But so we have to skip something. This is the first Sunday? This is the first Sunday. And you're saying you are leaving our son? For I thought the decision was not made yet. Um, Sorry. I think I, it was the second the Sunday. The second yeah. Sunday, yeah. yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, mm. sorry, I went ahead yeah, of myself. I, 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 yes. Mm. So, then, um, I after the service, I said to Emmanuel, okay, we let's go to the evenings, uh, to the other church. Mm. He said, mommy, I think this is where I, I belong. Mm. I, I, I just feel I connected. Mm. And that was it. So, the second Sunday, there was no need for us to go to, to, the, the, to, check this to, uh, to check the other church. Mm. I went back mm. and then I spoke to the pastors again and said... And so, you spoke to Pastor Ralph, yes, who is the campus pastor for that church. Yes, and I said, Pastor, we are leaving our son into your hands. May you just watch over him. And, of course, he had a letter of release mm. also from where he was coming from, from mm. Borodeo. Yeah, mm. so that was just... And I asked mm. you to get an email, the email address of the pastor, and I wrote you. And you wrote to Pastor Kerry, yes. And then, yeah. little did we know that a relationship would also develop. Mm. Uh, and yeah, we have been... Yeah. So Emmanuel, we, we, I told the pastor that uh, he is our son, he was in the youth band, he loves God, mm. and, uh, and he took an interest in him, put him... Uh, together with some of the people in the band. They will go to university when he was resident in the university. They will go pick him up for band practice, choir practice. Mm -hmm. And they, they started working with him. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, he encounters a family right in the band. Right. He is in the band. And uh, one of the gentlemen in the band has a liking um, over Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. And then he invites him over or he invites the whole band. I don't know the... Uh, the nitty gritties, but he invites Emmanuel over, and since then they've been going o over for lunch, mm -hmm. and they've adopted every Sunday. They every Sunday, to, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. they've adopted Emmanuel. If, even when Emmanuel got uh, married, the good thing, uh, mm -hmm. Pastor Ralph married them, mm -hmm. and also the Hoffmans took him, uh, Emmanuel, Alfin, even our daughter Faith is mm -hmm. part of the family. So. Emmanuel and uh, Faith and Alfin, they have um, uh, two parents, Zimbabwean parents and... Um, Actually, three per sets of parents. Yes, three sets of parents, mm -hmm. yes. We'll yeah. get to that as yeah. well. So, so, yeah. so here's the thing. We, we, we are talking about our parents invested in taking care of people. We took it from them. We also started investing, both our spiritual and our natural parents. And we, we, we are celebrating them as we think about the how they taught us to love and care for people mm -hmm. and but we we never thought what we were doing just because it's 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 in in in, in us right, yeah. we didn't realize the spiritual principle to say whatever you sow you will reap mm -hmm. and we the bible says um what does it say actually give me give me the bible if you will sorry about that mm -hmm. so the, the bible talks about in galatians chapter six and uh you know, we're in a pro Christian program and okay, we, should, we should read the Bible, isn't yeah. it? 
So, so Galatians 6, if I can find Galatians, um, this is what it says. I need to read it so that we actually see it in the book. Galatians 6, verse, um, verse 9 says, Let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season we shall reap if we do not lose that. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to the household of faith. So we, we were doing good, we were helping people, we are doing things, but we didn't realize that the Bible says in due season you will reap if you faint not. I mean, for us it was not a chore, it was just blessing people. But suddenly our children are now out there, their families watching over them, there are people taking care of them. Uh, right now, with even the, the home that Emmanuel say in Alfin State is it, really paying nominal rent to, uh, from people who just love them mm -hmm. and who cared for them. Mm -hmm. So we, we invested in people and God is taking that to, for a harvest in our own lives. So true, so true. And um, just to add, uh, whilst they in Canada, mm -hmm. I then remembered we had a friend, mm -hmm. um, with a family, uh, with some family friends and um, you had actually gone to school with one of, uh, with Mr. Chinake, so we called him mm. just to say we are here in Canada. Mm. You know, they drove. Mm. You know, the moment we called them, they said, no, we are coming. Mm. We are coming. They came initially and uh, uh, one thing led to another. We had a good time. And this is almost 15 years after they left Zimbabwe. After they left Zimbabwe, but mm. just because of those relationships mm -hmm. that God has given us. and. Even our children, uh, school holidays, we didn't have to bother and worry mm -hmm. about them. Uh, where will they be? The Shinakes took them in mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. uh, even when I went with Faith, when she went into university, mm -hmm. it was the Shinakes who took us in. Mm -hmm. And we thought going to Edmonton would have to find a hotel. Mm -hmm. So as we are driving, they, they offered to drive us to Edmonton from Calgary. And um, I remember on the way, the name... They said, oh, no, you can't be staying in a hotel. Then Maishnake made a uh, provision through her brother mm -hmm. so that they will also take care of us. So her brother was in Edmonton? Edmonton, they mm -hmm. are in Edmonton. Mm -hmm. She has two brothers. So mm -hmm. that also became Faith's family yes. within Edmonton. So we knew that our kids, wherever they are, they had family. The Bible says God places the solitary in family. Exactly. And Let me read that out, actually. That's, mm. um, that's from Psalm 68, mm. verse 6. It says, God sets the solitary in families. Mm -hmm. He brings out those who are bound into prosperity, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. So even our children, being in a foreign land, so mm. far away from us, I mean, one thing that could make us sleep at peace and have peace was just knowing that you know what, God has placed our children who are solitary, but they've been placed into families. So they're in natural families because of relationships, right. but they're also in spiritual families. Because of the relationship. Because of the relationship. Yeah. It, it, it's amazing what, what God does when you just yield yourself. And, and our talk today is just simply say, we don't even know what we're talking about, but we know, we know it is profiles in tribe. Mm. But what we're saying is sometimes it's just being naturally who you are. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, God takes that and He makes, He gives, He, he gives it wings. He refreshes you for refreshing others. Mm -hmm. So it's important to have relationships. It's important to be relational. It's important to be others minded. It's important to think about others. Think about the brothers. Think about the sisters around. Who, are, who is there who you can help? What can, what can you do? What difference can you make? As you are doing that in the simple natural things, you are sowing seed for your children. My dad sowed seeds for my children. Mm -hmm. And your mom sold seeds for my children. So their great children are now benefiting. You know, it reminds me of a, a verse in scripture that says, you, somebody sold and another one is reaping. Mm -hmm. I'm calling you to enter into the reward, into the labor of others. You are partaking mm -hmm. of that which you have not uh, planted. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so we as parents, we as believers, we must think generation and say, what impact are we doing past our lives? But even in a church as a church, how do we invest in the other so that the generations of Celebration Church Johannesburg, way past our, our own time, mm. they will still be blessed because of the seeds we are sowing in others. 
How do we bless others? And, and that reminds me of uh, just one more story. I think we, 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 we've been telling a lot of stories. Mm. You, you, you know, we, 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 went, we, we, we studied in Greece. Our children were born in Greece. Yeah. Yeah. And when we left Greece, we had friends whom we said, you know what, we would love to... Uh, actually, when we left, we said, this has become our second home. We will be back soon. Mm. And the soon became 20 years. Yeah, I think we were... And you want to talk to us about the, uh, how it came about that we, we went back to Greece and the kind of things. Again, we are just showing that uh, do, do not be weary of doing good. Mm. Mm. For in due season you will reap. Mm. And it says, as much as you have an opportunity in Galatians, do good to those which are the household of faith. Yes, and I think one of the things, just plugging into mm. the house of God, it also helps you. Mm. I mean, we were talking of being uh, solitary, but mm. God placing us in families. I remember going to Greece, mm. uh, we were just the two of us, and then just a few Zimbabweans. But in terms of raising our family, mm. the church gathered around us, yeah. and they helped us raise our children. You know, I could... You know what I said? Yeah. That's why? I love the church. Yeah. Yes, they gathered themselves just to make sure that yeah. our children were raised properly. And some of the many things that I learned, mm -hmm. I did not learn them from my natural mother. Mm -hmm. I learned them from our pastor's wives mm -hmm. and the people around. Mm -hmm. And I remember um, the church coming together, just making sure mm -hmm. that our children were raised up well. And whenever we needed help with the kids, mm -hmm. they would kick in. Fast forward. I also remember when we went back again um, after 18 years, mm -hmm. though we uh, wanted to go back earlier, but it took time. But when we eventually went, we were celebrating our 50th. And I remember just saying, two Our 50th anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. When we turned 50 years. So I remember uh, we just sent a, a, an email to our friends and said, We are coming to Greece. We, we have met. Uh, arrangements to be coming and um, and then when we got there we actually we, didn't have money for I, did, I don't we think did. we had money for more than a week but we were going to be there three weeks yes we we're going to be there three weeks you know the faith that we had and the love that surrounds us just I, I, I normally call it stubborn faith Mm -hmm. When you say, you know what, irrespective of what I have right now or the natural um, circumstances mm -hmm. or atmosphere, I believe God will take us through. But anyway, we ended up in Greece. But before that, a friend of us said, no, you can come and stay with us. So we knew our three weeks was... Um, no, 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 no. That's, that's not accurate. So mm -hmm. You are normally very good to get a record. <laughs> Remember, what, what happened is we asked this friend to say, because we needed a letter of invitation. Ah. So we were going to the embassy, processing the visa, we asked her to say, uh, can we have uh, do this, we want to come to Greece and so on. Mm -hmm. And she gladly did that, and uh, this is 18 years after we, we had left yes. Greece. Mm -hmm. And she, she did the letter, and then the, she insisted, she didn't t tell us you'll stay with me. Mm -hmm. She just said, please, we wanted to stay in Athens first, mm -hmm. because we were going to visit Athens, mm -hmm. and then we'll go to Thessalonica. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a week later. Mm -hmm. And so she insisted and said, no, no, you have to start with Thessalonica. She mm -hmm. didn't explain. Mm -hmm. And uh, on arrival, that's when the, 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 these two ladies met us and she says, oh, by the way, you are staying in my house. Mm -hmm. And um, the reason we wanted you to come is I only have two days and we are leaving. I'll be going to Denmark and I'll be away for three weeks. So she left mm -hmm. us a whole house mm -hmm. to ourselves. Right. And the other one was, she said, she would bring food, so she would cook food and bring uh, to our house. So this is just the love of God. I have seen God just blessing us in more ways than one. You know, God just does these things. And I'm just, like I said from the beginning, I'm eternally grateful for, for the church. And I'm eternally grateful for the friends and family that we have made through. Uh, Christ and uh, at times there's no separation mm -hmm. between uh, my natural family and my spiritual family mm -hmm. because even I remember one time Emmanuel coming to me and saying ah mama I thought mama Edi was your real sister I thought she was your blood sister but mm -hmm. because of these relationships mm -hmm. we were able to bring our children together just because of the love yeah. of Christ yeah, yeah. 
So I, I think it's, 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 it's amazing. We, we, we are talking about, uh, I mean, uh, I think now that we are getting to a close, many people are trying to figure out what is this profile in triumph that you are talking about. Oh, by the way, we are not talking about ourselves. We are not the profiles in triumph. In reality, here is the, here is the thing. The people we are celebrating, as we are talking about, we are celebrating our parents. Mm -hmm. Because our parents are the ones who invested in people, mm -hmm. who taught us to love people, who taught us to care for people. Mm -hmm. We saw them gather people. So what people see in us as we, as we, as we gather people is really not that we, we had a choice. Mm -hmm. it was, it was, it, so we are saluting our parents, mm -hmm. both spiritual and natural, mm -hmm. because our pastors took care of us. They did. Uh, they, I mean, the, the, the church became our family. So mm -hmm. we, we, we see the church, when we think of family, we, we, we have always believed that we have two families. We have the spiritual family and the natural family. Mm -hmm. And we have taught our children that whenever you find the church, you found family. Mm -hmm. so, so, in this profile of triumph, we are saluting our parents and our pastors. We have invested in us. They have sown seeds mm -hmm. that have resulted in a harvest in our own lives. If I borrow the Bible again, I want to just uh, say my, my, my last remarks and then you, you will come in. I did quote this scripture uh, freehand, but I want to, you to see this scripture that you need to invest in people. Uh, without a thought of a return, we need to be thinking in generations that are, that will come after us. So this is what the Bible says in uh, John chapter four, and this is Jesus who is speaking. From this, I'll read from verse thirty-four to thirty-eight. Although I need thirty-six and thirty-seven, he says, "My food is to do the will of Him who sent me, and to finish it." Then verse thirty-five. Do you not say? There are still four months, and then comes the harvest. Behold, I say to you, lift up your eyes, and look, the fields, they are already white for harvest. Then verse 6 says, And he who reaps, receives wages, and gathers fruit for eternal life. Mm -hmm. That both he who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. Mm -hmm. For in this the saying is true, one sows and another reaps. I send you to reap that for which you have not labored. Others have labored and you have entered into their labors. Mm -hmm. So our parents who we are saluting today, both spiritual and natural, who are uh, profiles of triumph, they invested in others and taught us to invest in others. Mm -hmm. And now their grandchildren, both spiritual grandchildren and natural grandchildren, mm -hmm. are reaping the harvest of the seed sown. Mm -hmm. So they who have sown and we, we are reaping, we are rejoicing together. So when you think about uh, being, doing good, good, you are not just thinking about a return in your own lifetime. Mm -hmm. Our children are beneficiaries mm -hmm. of their grandparents mm -hmm. and, and ourselves. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about profiles in triumph, invest in people and do good. Mm -hmm. And that's what I just wanted to say. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Whilst we are on that, as we conclude, one of the things that I just wanted to say is that um, knowing Pastor Tom has also helped us in terms, he has such a big heart. He has just, you know, when we celebrated our 50th, he's the guy, who, he's the man. He's, he's the guy, Pastor Tom is the guy. Yeah. <laughs> who is the man who rose up and said, you know what, I just wanted to bless you. I remember his gift to us was for him to get our tickets. To go to Greece mm. and he said I just want to celebrate you so you can see that even in-house mm. our own father mm -hmm. goes to that extreme just to know where you are at and blesses you mm. I have seen him bless people left right and center he has opened even his house to mm. many and I think we learn by observation yeah mm. you know at times it's easier to talk about something, but I think the greatest uh, teaching moments mm -hmm. are, are when you, as an individual, is, are you are able to do as I say, mm -hmm. and not only as I, yeah, do as, as I, I say. do, not as I say. Yes. Okay. So, in, 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 in teaching you an educationist, you call it observational learning. That's what So you. people learn by observing, so we mm -hmm. learn. Uh, sorry, I just interrupted you. Go no, ahead. that's fine. Yeah. So I just wanted to highlight that mm. to say, you know what? Uh, these are the things that we learn even within mm. this house to say, let us be open, let us love people, you know, let us just 
not categorize people or have certain cliques. Let us be open. Mm. Just love people. You never know where God will take you. So, so true. And I, and I think you talked about Pastor Tom and um, the, our little girl grew up in, in, in his, his house. house. Mm. You know, uh, they, they, so sometimes I, I don't know whether Faith and Sarah uh, would even be able to tell whether one is black, one is white, because they were so much uh, around each other. I remember one time talking to Faith and she was telling a, a, a Shona joke, but so I said it in English and I said, you know what, you, Sarah would not understand it. How did you tell her that joke? She says, oh, you know what, Sarah, Sarah is African. She, she, she understands that joke. She, yeah. she loves it, those jokes. But, but the point we are talking about is to say, in celebrating this month, we are talking about the profiles of tribe. Mm -hmm. And we just wanted to celebrate our parents, mm -hmm. uh, spiritual and natural, for the seeds they have sown, and challenge parents to say, sow seeds that will reap a harvest beyond your generation. The Bible says a good man will live an inheritance for his children's children. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about living? I mean, we think about that scripture in terms of money. But, if you, but we, Pastor Tom teaches us that the greatest uh, investment is your network, not your network, the relationships that you have built. Yes. So how are you investing in people mm -hmm. so that you can leave the relationships for your children's children to benefit from those relationships? So would you want to close us off and just pray for us? Thank you so much. You know, it has been just reflecting through this discussion brought me to that realization that we have such a rich, rich heritage through our parents, whether spiritual or um, natural. So I'm challenging each and every one of us, let's be there for one another. As a church, we are supposed to be building one another, doing good unto one another and just loving one another. May we continue to love one another to the extent that each one of us will say, that's why I, I love, love the, church. the church. Thank you. Yes, you, you, you are praying for us. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Father, we just want to thank you this thank afternoon. You, we thank you for your love. We thank Amen. you for your grace. Jesus. We thank you for who you are. Hallelujah. You loved mm. us even before thank we you, Jesus. knew you. Thank even you, as we celebrate our parents. Jesus. Father, we thank mm. you for the great and um, incredible heritage that they've passed on to Amen. us. We pray that this Jesus. same thing, will, uh, the, their legacy Jesus. will continue, Father, Amen. will live on Amen. in the name of Jesus. Thank a Jesus. legacy of loving people, mm. a legacy of being hospitable, mm. a legacy of being sensitive, Jesus. Father, to the needs of people mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. I pray that mm. even our children, oh God, mm. are rising up mm. and are coming to a place mm. where they become a blessing in Jesus' name. Mm. We speak right now. For, and as we appreciate our parents, Jesus. as we appreciate those that mm. have been linchpins, those mm. that have been helpers, mm. Father, if, as we have lived our lives, Jesus. thank you, Lord, for sending people mm. along our way, Father, who have blessed us. Mm. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus mm. that even as they have loved us mm. and have blessed us, I pray that you may mm. refresh them, oh God. Hallelujah. May this be a season of mm. refreshment. Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. refresh your people, mm. refresh the church, refresh mm. our friends, our family, Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Mm. Father, we thank you, thank you Father, Jesus. in the name of Jesus, for these Jesus. profiles of triumph. Because we know it is not by man's power, mm. but it is only by the grace of God. Mm. So we just continue to bless you, O oh God, mm. and say thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, O oh Father, for affording us the Jesus. opportunity to be a blessing. And we pray that each and every person mm. that is online today may never feel lonely. Mm. But Father, that mm. as a church, we are able to gather around one another mm. in the name of Jesus, that we find help even in our times of need. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for empowering us mm. by the Spirit of God to be sensitive Jesus. to one another. We just want to give you glory and we give you honor in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. And so, as we sign off, church, I want you to understand that 
Those who are profiles in triumph, they invest in relationships. They invest in doing good to each other. As we do that, we become like our father. Remember the Bible says that uh, you must be like your father who is uh, good to both good and bad, who causes his son and his reign to come upon both the good and the bad. So we must show the goodness of our father. So we, we wish you the best, you have an exciting week, and know that you can sow seeds that will benefit your children and your children's children. So till we meet again next week, this is Celebration Pulse signing off. See you then. Blessings. Bless you.